Uh, so it's supposed to be closest to Earth on December 19th. Anything new that we know about it? Now, uh, people like NASA says, uh, the officials at NASA say, oh, we, we believe it's a comet. But perhaps it is not a comet. It Perhaps it's an alien technology disguised as a comet. What new information do we have about this that you can share with us today as we approach the perigee uh, to Earth. And and please let people know that it's going to be very far away from Earth, like, like 170 million miles away. We don't have a problem or anything to be scared about, or do we? No, we, we don't, because, I mean, we tend to think that even if there is a, a visitor to the solar system, it will probably just focus on us. Uh, and uh, uh, it's not at all clear, because the human species existed only on the, over the past few million years. That's uh, a tenth of a percent of the age of the Earth, uh, and not to speak about the ages of other stars. And a journey takes about a billion years throughout the, the Milky Way galaxy. So uh, whoever sent uh, equipment in our direction didn't have us in mind. And it, it's sort of like arriving late to a party and thinking that someone uh, was waiting to dance with you. I mean, that that is a ridiculous notion. Uh, and so uh, my point is, you know, we should not assume anything, but just observe it. And uh, based on the information that we get about our dating partner, uh, we can decide whether, you know, what its nature is. And that's the usual practice in blind dates. Uh, you know, you don't know in advance who the dating partner is. And the only, and the best way to find out is not to speak and ha- express an opinion ahead of time, but just collect as much data as possible. Because in this case, there are also, uh, you know, if it happens to be alien technology, there is obviously a threat to Earth. And uh, we would like to know that even if the chances are small. And uh, it's sort of a black swan event that we need to protect ourselves against. And in the coming decade, we'll have many more interstellar objects. And my recommendation is to rank each and every one of them from zero to 10. There, there, there is this classification scale that I came up with called the Loeb scale, yes. where uh, zero is a natural object, 10 is a technological object. And we need to decide you know, what each object might be. Those are objects to be discovered by the Rubin Observatory in Chile. Now, with respect to this one, what we learned recently is, uh, well, at first, the reason I suspected it might be technological is because it, it its trajectory is aligned with the planets in uh, moving around the sun. And the chance of that happening at random is one in 500. And what we are seeing now is that indeed the this anti-tail that it had from the beginning, which is a jet coming from the object towards the sun. It seems to persist. Even now, we have a second image from the Hubble Space Telescope that indicates a jet coming from the object towards the sun and not away from the sun, the way cometary tails behave. That's an anomaly. We need to explain that to understand that. In fact, as of this morning, there was a report about the jet uh, wobbling as if um, it's sort of like uh, the the light beam from uh, a lighthouse uh, uh, that is uh, wobbling. And um, we need to understand uh, wh- why this happens. It extend- the, This anti-tail extends to a million kilometers. We've never seen anything like it for any comet. Okay, Avi, this is fascinating. We're going to take a... Something strange is happening near Jupiter as 3i Atlas approaches it with an unusually precise trajectory. So 3i Atlas shows either flying through some coma around it or releasing a bunch of jets and gas like this way or a coma like almost like a comet a jet in the front and some jets around it. So these are the pictures that I have taken. I inverted them and I'm presenting this to you in one screen so you can actually see how this comet is behaving depends on the day we are looking at. I'm going to take more pictures of this comet and I will keep track of how it is going to behave when it gets closer to Jupiter. 
It's going to be very interesting. Though it's still far, about 35 astronomical units from the gas giant, its path has brought it within the reach of Jupiter's massive gravitational pull. If 3I Atlas slows down enough, there is a possibility that it could be captured by the planet's gravitational field, potentially becoming one of its moons. This phenomenon is reminiscent of the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet, which was captured by Jupiter in the 1990s before it collided with the planet. Could 3I Atlas be heading into Jupiter's radiation belts? Could it be captured into orbit around Jupiter? But this is is all assuming that 3I Atlas is a natural object. If it's not, there might be something more deliberate behind its path and behaviors. Recent observations of 3I Atlas have yielded perplexing data that challenge the typical expectations for an object like this. Through the work of astrophotographers, such as Ray's astrophotography, detailed images of 3I Atlas have been captured, revealing jets of gas emanating from the object in highly irregular patterns. Unlike typical comets, which develop a long tail as they approach the sun, formed from the sublimation of ices and dust into gas that is pushed outward by the solar wind, the jets from 3I Atlas emerge from multiple points across its surface, not just one direction. This pattern is highly unusual, since most comets exhibit a tail or jets that point away from the sun due to the force of the solar wind. The fact that jets are being emitted from all sides of the object suggests something very different is at play. The gas surrounding 3I Atlas is also shown varying color patterns that are not typical for cometary behavior. Images have shown the gas cloud around the object shifting in color from orange to green depending on the time of observation. This change in color indicates different chemical reactions occurring as the object moves closer to the sun, which is not common for most comets. Comets generally display more stable coloration based on the gases being released, such as water vapor or carbon monoxide, but the dramatic color shifts observed with 3I Atlas suggest a much more complex composition. These variations in color point to the potential presence of different materials being sublimated, which could be contributing to the complex behavior of the jets. Perhaps the most perplexing aspect of the gas emissions from 3I Atlas is the directionality of the jets. In addition to the typical jets that are emitted away from the sun, some of the jets have been observed emitting toward the sun. This behavior contradicts the natural pattern expected from a comet, where the gas and dust are usually driven outward by the sun radiation pressure. Additionally, jets have been seen emitting from opposite sides of the object, an unusual characteristic that defies the standard principles of cometary physics. This dual-direction jet emission further complicates the interpretation of 3I Atlas's behavior. The fact that jets are not confined to a single axis and can change direction even toward the sun raises significant questions about the forces driving these emissions. These observations, which were confirmed by several astrophotographers, demonstrate that 3I Atlas is behaving in a way that is inconsistent with the typical behavior of known interstellar objects or comets. The unusual patterns of gas jets, the shifting colors, and the emission of jets from various directions all suggest that this object is not following the natural, predictable behaviors expected from comets. The possibility that it is influenced by forces or mechanisms not observed in typical comets leaves scientists and astronomers puzzling over the true nature of this interstellar object. The Data from Ray's astrophotography, combined with other observations, show that 3I Atlas is not behaving like other objects of its kind. As it approaches Jupiter, the alignment of its trajectory suggests a calculated movement rather than one that was drawn by random forces. On March 16, 2026, 3I Atlas is expected to pass by Jupiter at a distance of 53.6 million kilometers, which is nearly identical to the planet's hill radius, the region around Jupiter where its gravity overcomes the suns. The hill radius is about 53.5 million kilometers, and this rare coincidence in distance could be indicative of deliberate planning. If 3I Atlas is truly interstellar in nature, it's passing so close to Jupiter that it seems almost as if its trajectory was aimed at making this close encounter. Why else would it approach the planet's hill radius so precisely? Jupiter's hill radius is an important feature in the context of the interstellar object's approach. The hill radius defines the region where a planet its gravitational influence becomes stronger than that of the Sun. Within this area, objects can be captured into orbit around the planet. The location of 3I Atlas within this radius suggests that if it were to slow down, it could be gravitationally captured by Jupiter. 
This would place 3I Atlas into a stable orbit around the planet, potentially adding another moon to Jupiter's already vast collection of satellites. But there is another consideration. 3I Atlas is moving incredibly fast, much faster than the typical comets we have observed. If it maintains this high velocity, it would likely pass through the hill radius without being captured. The possibility of 3I Atlas entering Jupiter's radiation belts or becoming bound to the planet's gravity is tantalizing, but the object's speed complicates this scenario. And yet, this is all based on the assumption that 3I Atlas is a natural object. What if it is not? Recent discoveries have made the potential for a more deliberate purpose behind 3I Atlas's behavior even more intriguing. One of the most striking coincidences is the object's proximity to the location of the WOW signal, an unexplained radio signal detected by the Big Ear radio telescope in 1977. This signal, which has puzzled astronomers for decades, came from a point in the sky near the constellation Sagittarius. Remarkably, 3I Atlas arrived from a direction that is just 9 degrees away from the exact location location of the WOW signal. The odds of such an alignment occurring randomly are only 0.6%, making it an extremely rare coincidence. This unusual proximity raises a fascinating possibility. Could 3I Atlas be more than just a natural interstellar object? Could it be something deliberately designed and sent with a specific purpose in mind? If so, what could that purpose be? Could 3I Atlas be an artificial probe sent by an advanced civilization traveling from a distant star system with Jupiter or perhaps the entire solar solar system as its destination. Adding to this hypothesis are the unusual characteristics of the gas plume surrounding 3I Atlas. The composition of the gas has been found to be strikingly different from what is typical for natural comets. Specifically, the gas plume contains an unusually high amount of nickel compared to iron. In most natural comets, the gas emitted typically includes a mixture of hydrogen, water vapor, and carbon compounds, with only trace amounts of heavier metals. However, 3I Atlas's plume contains significantly more nickel than iron, as well as a nickel to cyanide ratio that is orders of magnitude higher than what has ever been observed in known comets. This discrepancy in composition suggests that the material on 3I Atlas's surface may have been industrially produced rather than naturally occurring. This observation raises the possibility that 3I Atlas is not a natural object at all, but instead a technological artifact, perhaps created by an advanced civilization for a specific purpose. The presence of such unusual elements in the gas could be an indication that the object is not just a cosmic wanderer, but a piece of technology, possibly intended for exploration, communication, or even a mission of unknown intent. Further complicating the mystery are the jets observed emanating from 3I Atlas. These jets are far more powerful than what would be expected from natural cometary outgassing, suggesting the involvement of something other than just sublimating ice. In order to generate the observed mass flux, these jets would require a massive surface area, far greater than what would be necessary for a typical comet. Natural comets release gas from the sublimation of their icy surfaces, but the force and scale of the jets coming from 3I Atlas are inconsistent with this process. This has led some scientists to hypothesize that the jets could be the result of technological thrusters, potentially designed to propel the object or alter its trajectory. If this were the case, it would imply that 3I Atlas is being actively controlled rather than simply following a natural orbit or trajectory through space. The fact that 3I Atlas exhibited non-gravitational acceleration acceleration near its perihelion, a phenomenon often observed in spacecraft but not in natural objects, adds weight to this theory. The non-gravitational acceleration suggests that 3I Atlas is not just drifting passively through space, but is being manipulated by some form of propulsion, further implying an artificial origin. The anomaly of the tightly collimated jets of 3I Atlas is another striking feature. These jets maintain a precise orientation over distances of up to 1 million kilometers, a characteristic that is incredibly unusual for a natural object. In most natural comets, the jets are diffused and their direction changes based on the object's rotation and position relative to the sun. However, the jets from 3I Atlas are tightly focused and maintain their orientation, which is a behavior more commonly associated with spacecraft or artificial probes. Such precision is typically achieved through carefully controlled propulsion systems, which allow for fine adjustments in the object's movement. The fact that 3I Atlas has multiple jets emitting in various directions relative to the sun suggests 
suggests that it may be using these jets for navigation or possibly for releasing mini probes as part of its mission. This kind of controlled behavior is not typical of natural comets, which usually exhibit more erratic and diffuse jet patterns. Taken together, these anomalies, its trajectory, gas composition, non-gravitational acceleration, and the precise alignment of its jets, suggests that 3i Atlas is far from being a standard interstellar object. The possibility that it is a technological artifact cannot be ruled out, and its actions near Jupiter only fuel the suspicion that it may be part of an intentional mission, perhaps even one aimed at interacting with the gas giant. If 3i Atlas is indeed an artificial object, its presence in our solar system could be part of a larger plan, one that may involve exploration, communication, or even seeding our solar system with advanced technology. As 3i Atlas continues its approach to Jupiter, the questions surrounding its origins and purpose remain unanswered. Is it a natural object, or is it something far more complex? The ongoing observations of this interstellar visitor will undoubtedly continue to challenge our understanding of the universe and the possibilities of intelligent life beyond our planet. If 3i Atlas is indeed an artificial object, it may be a harbinger of more mysterious interstellar visitors to come. Until then, we are left to ponder its true nature as it approaches Jupiter, a planet that may hold the key to unlocking its secrets.